Okay, Mr. Willadol, heck of a day for you. Look great out there. Uh, four wins, I think, on the yeah. day. Uh, KM champ at the U20 age group. Talk about your tournament, how you felt out there. Felt like there. Yeah, uh, felt pretty good. You know, got here on a little bit of short time due to some travel stuff, but it's all right. I still got the job done, and uh, that's what I came here to do. So, felt pretty good. Uh, how do you, you know, adjust? as you have to on these international trips. You mentioned the travel. I mean, you came in a day later, so you were a day behind everyone else coming in. Um, and there's other things that come with going on an international trip. So you yeah. make those adjustments, right? Uh, I think just kind of rolling with the punches and being patient really helps, you know, in those situations and not getting too flustered. And just keeping your mind on the, the task at hand and not getting caught up in all the stuff that could go wrong. So talk to me about your style a little bit. When I'm watching, you seem like you have a, a style that flows, you're in and out, you're snapped, you're fake. You, and you look really crisp and sharp out there, ready for a lot. Yeah. Uh, how do you wrestle? Uh, you know, I would say very technical and tactical, but uh, at the same time, you know, I can go and I can go and uh, bang, as I would like to say. You know, I can hand fight, I can do a lot of other things as well than just, you know, um, tick and tack and a lot of fakes and all that stuff so I, I would say I'm a, I'm a pretty well-rounded wrestler yeah for sure definitely uh, uh, so that banner of being a world champ too even though it's a excuse me, at the U17 level you come to the U20 level right um, you've got multiple world medals you're world champ uh, does that give you confidence does that give you what does that give you coming to events like this you know you're you're the dude right yeah uh, it does give me confidence, you know, just knowing that that I have that experience to kind of fall back on, and and I know that I've been in some high caliber matches, so these kind of matches uh, don't really get me too flustered or, or excited. I'm pretty even even keel all the way through. Uh, is there any big takeaway from this trip as you're looking forward? You know, you've got big things coming uh, this summer, obviously, big tournaments. But what do you take away from this trip to help you prepare for for what's coming? I would say just keep getting better in in all areas really you know there's always stuff that I can work on and you know I'll go back and watch the film and then kind of just figure out what I really have to get into in, in the little areas uh, in a little bit but for now you know just keep getting better and um, just knowing that I have worlds in a month and a half and that's the that's the main goal so that's the main goal so what do you got to do you know you're stepping up in the age group even though you you know you won the world last year medal the year before right um stepping up in age class uh, do you think there's going to need to be any adjustments in doing so or is it you know just doing the same thing that, that you do uh i would say just you know doing the same thing being myself um can't change the way i wrestle depending on who i'm wrestling just going out and wrestling my style and you know, showing showing the world that I'm capable of moving up an age level and still winning. Anyone back home you want to give a shout out to? Uh, yeah, I want to give a shout out to my dad, my little brother Dalton, who really helped me actually prepare for this the last week. He was my main my main training partner, and I want to shout out Matt and Paul Collum as well. They're both very influential in my wrestling career. Matt earlier on and Paul now, so I want to give a big thanks to them as well.